everyone, this is Anna from All DIY Crafts and we're going to be doing another tumbler. I'm going to start with, uh, first things first, I take my electrical tape, which for me it works better than painter's tape because it won't get underneath. Um, it doesn't peel up on me, sometimes I have a hard time with it. This um, is it doesn't quite go all, all the way up to the top, so what I do is I will go around once. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of overlap and go around one more time until they meet. And that way I know I have the very top covered too. And then I will go ahead and cut that and pigtail it down. That way we have it. I am then going to take my little football and put it in like so. And we'll get that ready in a second. I'm going to be coating it with Rust-Oleum uh, Flat White. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just clean it off with a little bit of alcohol. It doesn't matter what your percentage is. Just make sure you get all the way around the cup. I'm actually going to cover the whole cup and that's why I'm not too concerned about um, taping this part off here. So we're gonna go ahead and go outside and cover the cup. We'll be back. Okay, so we have our cup prepped. We have a white one and I went ahead and did a black one. I did a black uh, with just a flat matte paint. Uh, that one's by Rust-Oleum and so is this one. It's just a flat matte and I do have my um, electrical tape still on. I'm not gonna do it with this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Loctite method 100 light to go ahead and get the glitter on to our white cup. I've tried it in the past with the black cup and it doesn't, um, it might be because I had a black glitter that was a little bit um, more coarse. It was, it was a cheap brand. So we're just gonna use this on the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray, spray this with our Loctite. We're gonna set our timer for six minutes and then we'll go ahead and apply our grip glitter. Okay, and we're back. So we had let this sit for a few minutes. So we're at six minutes. It's still tacky. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start adding our glitter. Make sure you get your bottom. And I try to go like this both sides so it kind of falls on each side so it'll help get anything I missed. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll kind of take a look around and see if there's any spots I missed before I start uh, wiping the glitter down. And this is just a brand. I did use a nice, um, a really nice one from, I believe it was from Fairytale Glitters, Excalibur, and it just, I'll show you that cup. It really stood out, it was beautiful. Okay, so I think we're good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start rubbing. Don't forget the bottom, turn the cup. really good coverage. I like to just make sure I have the ends. That's my problem area. I just want to make sure. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to marbleize this cup. I'm not going to seal it first. I'm not going to epoxy it first. I've had people ask questions on it, and I thought, well, I wonder if we could. And I actually did a cup without sealing it and without epoxying it, and then I just marbleized it after I let this dry. I'm going to let this dry for um, a couple hours, and then we'll come back, and then we'll use our marbling paints. And then we'll kind of see how it shows up. And we're going to do a black cup, and we're going to do this cup. Okay. So I'll clean up my glitter, I'll let this dry for a few hours, and we will be back. Okay, we have our bucket of room temperature water ready. I have my Easy Marble inks here. And I also have some extra colors since I have the black mug. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wear gloves for this because what happens is sometimes they leak around and it's, um, it gets all over your fingers and then I have to acetone and it's just not fun. So you really want to take these colors and you want to shake them quite well. I'm going to pick a clear, a purple and a blue. You can see them here. I'll, I'll put the names and all the links below. So I'm going to go ahead and shake them very well. The clear on the glitter is just so that the glitter can show through. And I've only tried this once before. There will be some glitter that falls off the cup, obviously, because it's not epoxied in. Um, and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of my blue in. I'm going to pour some of my purple in. I am then going to pour a little bit of clear in because I don't want it to be all completely covered. And we'll do a little bit more blue, a little bit more purple, just a little bit more clear. And then what I'm going to do is I have a little popsicle stick and I'm just going to move it over to the sides. And then we're going to go ahead and dip. We're going to go on an angle and then we're going to straighten out. So we're going to go on an angle and then we're going to kind of go all the way around. We're going to shake it and come off. And that's how they'll look. And if you don't like the way that looks, you can always do it again. So this is the other cup I had done. And um, I actually have a request for the same colors. So. If you don't like the way the other cup shows up, then you can just do it again. Now, I used a green here instead of the blue. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference. The glitter stayed on. It dries pretty quickly. We'll put it over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move the colors off to the side. Now, when you're doing a black cup, you need to make sure you're using the opaque colors and I've marked them here but they also have it I'm going to link it below because they also have it on the the website what I do is I put a little pin mark here just so I know it's an opaque color and I think I'm going to use this time I'm going to use the uh, see she wanted purple so we'll do purple again and I guess we'll do blue again so that's what we'll do make sure they're shaked very well I always cover my floor, as you can see, because I do make a mess. And like when I'm doing this, sometimes it squirts out. Grab my popsicle stick again. I guess we might want to do just a little clearer, just a little bit the black cup underneath and again we're going to go in at an angle and then we're going to straighten up here we go angle then roll it around shake and out and there you go and make sure you get all of your water out so the purple is almost looks like a ghost cup but it's really pretty and so what we're going to do is we're going to have to let this dry and we'll be back Okay, so these are dry. These are the ones I've already done, and they're, they need to be epoxied. 
I'm going to actually leave them blank because I just think that the design is really pretty. This was glittered. There was no ceiling. There was, there was nothing but just the Loctite um, method to put the glitter on. And then I let it dry and then I dipped it in um, the Marabou. This is the black one that I told you about that I did put some, also do some glitter. And you really can't tell. It's pretty textured. You can see some glitter coming through it. But as you can see, as long as you use the opaque colors, and again, everything's below the list, um, it will show up on black. If you don't, it won't show up very well at all, if, if at all. This is the newer one that we did. And this is the other one. And so using the green and purple, I used the blue and purple. I don't know the names offhand, but I will put them below. It's really really pretty and it makes it really stand out now to seal these you can't use just regular sealers because these are oil based these are already done so I'm going to put them off to the side and what I do is um, you just grab some Mod Podge just the regular gloss one I actually just put it on a little piece of paper put it off to the side and then basically I still have my electrical tape on here and I'm just gonna put a coat on it and then um, after two coats then we can epoxy Okay, so it takes us about 40 to 45 minutes for it to dry and then I will be doing a second and maybe even a third layer. So we're going to go ahead and let these dry and we're going to get these ready for epoxy. Before I forget, the way I clean these is I go ahead and I squeeze out the excess onto a dry paper towel. Just squeeze it out and then I'm just going to clean it with some uh, warm water and then we're just going to go ahead and throw all this in the trash. Okay and we're back. I'm using the same gloves I did all this other stuff in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start putting our epoxy on. I used 10 ml of each part A and part B of the amazing Alumalite. As soon as I run out of the I have two boxes. I have one box after this left. I will be switching 
um, just because I, after doing some research, it seems that there are better products out there. I haven't had any problems with this product, but I would like to try, you know, and just see what's, what else is going on. I always kind of start out at the top here, and then I, um, I can feel with the brush what's covered and what's not, and I'll know when I've made a complete circle. Like, I know now that I've gone completely around. And then I'm going to start moving it down slowly. What's really nice about these silicone brushes is you could get every last drop. I think you can with your fingers too. It's just nice not to have my fingers all gooey. Okay, I've used every last drop. We're going to just let these spin for about four or five hours and then we will be back. I will take off the electrical tape after um, 20 more minutes. Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, so for the next part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Fonto, and I actually have it uploaded to my computer via Bluestacks, but it's available as an app on either Apple or Android. So here is um, what it looks like when you open it, and you're going to go up here for, to the picture and use plain image. We're gonna click this white image, and we're gonna hit use. And what I'm going to do is I don't have fonts in the Cricut that would allow um, um, a stroke so that I could have a, a backing for the, the word. So I'm going to create one and then we're going to upload it to Cricut. So at this point we have our blank and we're going to hit this little pencil here and I'm going to type in the word Kaylin and the text, so we'll say done. And then what I'm going to do is to go to font and I think what we decided was dancing script 
which is right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to style. We're going to click this little arrow here that says stroke. I'm gonna make that black. I just need to make it a different color. Make sure it's not too much. And we'll click done. Size so I could see it. And it doesn't need to be too big in here because what you're going to end up doing um, is you can uh, play with it once you're in design space. So this looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Uh, we're going to share it and I'm going to save it to my desktop so that I can pull it in. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upload the file. So we're going to hit upload, upload image, browse. And we have them right here, so I will do Kalen first. I always make everything complex. And this is gonna be the outline. Now you see that there's something going on in here, but that's okay, because we're actually gonna just make this into a cut file anyway. We're gonna go ahead and erase all of this. Let me make sure we have it all here. Okay, we're going to hit continue and we're going to save it as a cut image. I'm going to make this Kalen background. And as you can see right here, these little things are not um, there, so it's not going to be an issue. So Kalen background, save. And now we're going to go ahead and re-upload. This one we're going to need to work on a little bit. So we're going to hit erase and we're actually going to be erasing all this black. Now I don't know if you can see it here, but there is a, um, there's a little film or a little line that's going through here. I usually use Photoshop for this, but you have to pay for Photoshop and Fonto is a free app. So I'm kind of just showing you uh, how to do it. Uh, the free way and then I think on the next video I'll do it with the Photoshop way because you don't really have a lot of these little issues uh, That you see here, so you're gonna have to really kind of make sure that you delete all of this So once we have this we're gonna go ahead and click this erase tool and I just kind of go around and Make sure that all of this is gone, too. Okay, so we have that done. We're gonna get rid of this here. It's a little bit here. I see a little bit here. I see some stuff here. And then I think that would be good enough. So there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And this is also going to be save as a cut. And then we're going to just say Kaylin um, name. And we'll make sure it's saved as a cut image and we'll click save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click this one. We're going to hold our control and we're going to insert the images. So here we go. So we're going to change Kaylin's color to uh, purple. and see how she fits in there. So the stroke to me is just, it's a little thick. Could have worked on that a little bit more, but I honestly think it'll show up on the cut better. But we can also play with it here. Our other option is to go back into Fonto and, um, and redo the stroke size. And again, like I said, if we were in um, Photoshop, we, we really wouldn't have a lot of these little issues. But th this is fine. I mean, I think this will be fine for what we're doing today. 
So what we're going to do is I would make this, um, we know that we can print about four inches and this is nine. And I just wanted a little bit of a background on her picture so that it would, I think that's about right, so that it would pop out of the cup. It really doesn't matter what color vinyl you're cutting um, or what color you're making this because you're going to print your vinyl how you want to do it. So if we go to make it, we'll have two mats. We have the background mat and then we have um, Kaylin's mat. What I'm going to do though is I'm also going to bring in, um, I'm doing for the other cup that we did, we're going to bring in um, Avila. So we're going to do upload and we're going to just go through the same process. So I'll probably just speed through this so that you can just kind of follow along. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to click both of these, and we're going to put it in here. As you can see, Avila is perfect the way she is. I believe we're making. I believe we're doing the same color for Avila that we did for Kaylin. So let me just make sure that I have her name in the same color. Okay, I couldn't change Avila's color because I had her as a print. So when that happens, so when you have it like this and you can't change her color, here, I'm sorry, I had it as a no fill. I guess that was it. So Kaylin's going to actually have a different color background than Avila. Um, but this is how they're going to look and we're going to go ahead and click make it and we'll cut the vinyl and we'll be back Okay, so these are cured. I went ahead and I put Avila on this one And it's a holographic vinyl with a black background to kind of match this that way the it didn't get lost And then this one I didn't do yet. So this one is done. It's really really pretty I went ahead and I made the um, the stroke a little bit smaller. So the first thing you're going to do before you do um, your vinyl on your cup is you're going to take a little bit of alcohol. You're going to find where you're going to place it because you want to make sure there's no oils or anything on it. That whole cup looks really good. I guess we'll go right here. I'm trying not to put it in anything here. On my transfer tape. This is going to be tricky to do here. I think the stroke's probably still too big, but I think with the other two cups that we have, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it in the Photoshop so you could see. It's a little bit easier because you can kind of see everything. Because you just need a real slight 
just a slight stroke on it so it doesn't get lost in the design. We'll save that. And then there's Kaylin. So what I would have probably done is make the strokes smaller, but I wanted to match this gray anyway. So um, other than that, I think the cups turned out perfectly. The next video we'll probably be doing is finishing up the other two cups and doing um, Photoshop to do the wording with the strokes. So the next thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna wipe the whole cup down with alcohol. Then we're gonna um, epoxy it one more time and let them sit for about 24 to 48 hours and then we will have our little gifts. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments, please ask them below and have a really good week.